Right now, a local family says the law failed them when their dog was killed, so now they're trying to change it. Mandy Bailey and Ryan Crosby's dog, Zena, was shot to death in their front yard in April. And the person charged with animal cruelty and discharging a firearm will not serve time. Instead, he got a pretrial diversion agreement. On your side's Leah Shields explains how that family plans to try and get some justice. Killing an animal in Florida is a misdemeanor animal cruelty charge, and minimum sentencing guidelines are not applied to misdemeanors. There's one word in this statute that can change that. The word is intentional, and that would change the charge to a felony. But in Zena's case, the neighbor was only charged with the misdemeanor. There's not a day that goes by that we don't walk outside and see the bloodstained ground where Zena was murdered by. The police report says Gordon Scott Paul shot and killed Zena on April 7th while the dog was in her owner's front yard. She belonged to his neighbors, Mandy Bailey and Ryan Crosby. The police report states that Scott believed Zena was killing his chickens and, quote, Scott said that he entered Ryan's front yard and shot the dog twice and killed it. He shot the dog today to end the issues. Scott received a deferred prosecution agreement. I think it was a complete injustice. Animal activist Debbie Dorino is joining their fight for justice from her home. She's trying to change the wording of the Florida misdemeanor animal cruelty statute. It's not her first fight. She's the woman behind Ponce's law that passed in 2018, increasing the punishment for felony animal cruelty and allowing judges to ban offenders from owning another animal. Dorino was already working on amending the misdemeanor statute when she heard Zena's story. It's just horrible. It breaks my heart and it makes me push even harder to get these laws passed. They're fighting for change and justice from their homes right now during the pandemic. But Dorino tells me the next legislative session is 2021. She says she'll be ready to fight for Xena. In Jacksonville, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.